All right, I'm back. It's in my backpack. This is the Tiger New or Tiger New. Uh, no clue how to pronounce it, but they say their initials are TGM according to the tasks on here. Uh, this thing is more of a tech focus bag. Um, there's a pocket right here. That is big enough, just alone right there, to fit a tablet. I have a tablet. There we go. 10 inch RCA tab with a uh, keyboard attached and a grippy on it. Just lift that up and pull off this tag. I didn't know it was still on here. Nobody's told me. Off. They call it the Uo bag, which I don't know why they call it the Uo bag. It doesn't mean this at all. This is U bag, Uo bag, Uo bag, Uo bag. Um, warranty. It's just classes of fashion. Um, just based on. Amazon where I got this, the description, these tags, the name of it. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are, this is some Chinese company trying to focus on Americans not understanding real issues with how we speak or like that. So as you can see, it's not bulging or anything from that. That looks like they're just fine, just fresh, comes right out. Boom. So this is a 10 or 10.1 RCA final on Walmart. Hundred dollars. So that's that pocket. That's it. It's just one pocket right there. Then on the sides here, right here, we have another pocket. And this pocket is enough to easily fit like a Coke can or if you're a techie mouse. This is the Apple mouse, of course. So yeah, as you see, it just slides in. Actually, that fits, like, that fits with room. It's got way room, way a lot of room left. So you get more than just that now. Let's see about a phone. Here's a Galaxy S7, or S8 Plus with a case. Oh, it fits in with room to spare. So definitely a nice deep and wide side pocket. It's even got an elastic strap in here. Um, to be honest, the big thing I'd probably put in here would be uh, cables or a camera, maybe. Like this. There you go. Little mini cool picks just fits right in there. No issues. And then probably the most common thing we're going to get is a laptop cord. Laptop cord brick, um, or in this case, technically it's actually a printer or a scanner, a portable scanner brick, but you can easily just Boom, it's in there. Uh, the laptop one is going to be a tad bit bigger than this, but it'll definitely fit inside there. That's that pocket. It's got two of those. It's exactly the same. Strappy, deep pocket, curves around the bottom here. Well, I tested this out. The bottom is nice. Um, I didn't ever read anything about water resistance, but it got a little water on it. Nothing's happened. Nothing's so through. All tech was fine after usage. Well, the next pocket is here, though. And inside here, we got a zipper for. I assume there's for cables, that's why I put in there, of course. So we got a cable zipper pouch there, that's mesh. 
which is just right here. The front panel goes to that. And inside, we got another pocket with the very bottom here. And then right here, we have our spot for two pencils. One or two pencils. Let's see here, we have one. Yeah, got a pen. Okay. Close in just fine. There's still extra room down here, so you make it bigger. It's actually fatter than a pen size, so you can probably even upgrade to Sharpie. Fat issue. Fits right in. So, you have two of those slots. And you have a slot here and a slot here that could fit. Oh, lots of things. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. This is a CD case. Standard it stretches it a tad, but if it's in, it is a little stretched. Um, but if you had to, you could easily fit a CD case there. And this one actually smaller? I am over stretching the other side, but there we go. Groove thing, check them out. Nice band, they do the funk. Let's see here. What else we got here? We got mini CDs, those easily fit in there, that issue. Um, if you're a nerd, dice. Always good thing to have. Boom, one, two, three, four dice tubes. So that's four sets of dice, which is the standard standard indie set. I like multicolor. And then phone fits in no problem. Uh, you can fit a lot of things in here. These pockets are pretty big. Um, not anybody has it, but an 8 inch Samsung tablet almost fits. Doesn't quite fit. So there's your extent. It goes all the way there. You can also do big for pocket journal. Boom, fits in. So tons of choices. Fit in there. I don't have anything else to sh really show off the size more than that. So let's go to the next pocket. Um, again, cords. Main pocket. Zip. Um, it has, I should throw this off first. So, right here is, let's see if I can get it nice and good in the camera here. It has security holes. So, it's really hard to get this shot on the camera very well. So, right here at the edges of the There we go. Yeah, it's got a whole pro pull a small lock on here. So, like I said, laptop style bag. Let's open this up. So, we have it locked in here. Boom. And this actually has pocket descriptions. This right here has a book picture. Over here is a phone. This here says battery. And then this is tablet. So, and it, it is padded. There is padding in here. So, if we grab a tablet, uh, let's see here. Do I see a tablet? Pull it off of that. And do those slides in no issue. I can actually plug with the keyboard back on and be fine. Oh yeah, that fits. No problem at all. So that right there is that. And let's see, this here says put the phone in. Phone's in. And then it says charger. Or battery pack. So let's see here. Did it work? So I got my Solar power charger here, got my phone here, Galaxy S8 Plus, 
Um, and then I have an RCA 10 inch tablet. Sure, there's some like ridges going on because I have some thick stuff. Like, this is a thick tablet with the keyboard attached. This is a 10,000 solar, it's told 10,000 million solar charging. SOS battery USB pack, and then pretty much one of the biggest phones that's out right now. And then we even have one that has has it says books. So how, how deep is that? Oh, top. I'm gonna pull this tablet out. Actually, I don't think I've ever used this top. I've never used this top slot here. Um, I've never attempted to use it. So, where is my Kindle? Kindle. Let's see if that fits in there. It's really cool. I can put my tablet, my phone, battery pack, and I have some room for it. So, uh -huh. Almost fits perfectly. It doesn't fit that way. I'm not sure how the case it would actually fit in there. Otherwise, it, it definitely will fit. You know, notebooks and stuff, just no problem. It's just good. It's almost, it's almost big enough to take on the full Kindle with the case and everything. In fact, I have. That's only a big bad spot to carry it next time I use this bag. Inside is pretty, pretty good, pretty wide. Um, it stretches pretty decently. You definitely put a few textbooks in here, something for college or high school or middle school. Um, I think I'll let my daughter use this for school next year. Or I might just buy a different bag. I don't know. Uh, there's more though. This isn't done. We have straps here. They're actually really soft. There's, there is enough padding in here on the, this side and this side. Both, both, both are padded quite nicely together. They claim breathable airflow channels, but really, honestly, no. There's not enough padding to create enough channel airflow to really do anything. But it is made out of the same material like my uh, my active basketball shorts are, so it's the same type of weird, like me scratch. It feels weird. Um, I thought I was sweaty wearing this, but I'm a big guy, so no matter how much padding you have, I'm probably going to lock in. I I'm wider than the backpack by a bit. It does have a strap here for carrying something. Uh, I, have to I, I have to pen in here for a while. I just had it sitting here like this. Uh -huh. That's what I did. So I had a pen there. But this is where it gets cool. Um, I, like, I like bags like this. There, there's a, a hidden pocket here. And it's just big enough to put something like your wallet, passport, um, your room keys for hotels if you're going to conventions, stuff like that. Uh, maybe some spare cords for charging USBs. Um, on the side here, which is really cool, is if you have your phone in this pocket, there's a hole inside of the bag that does the old school style headphone thing. I remember they, like they first did this when I was in I think it was a high school for myself backpack with that. Uh, but yeah, totally has that. And then the last secret thing or last thing is the entire back top piece, like the bottom piece, has another padded slot holder that is definitely big enough to go all the way to the bottom. 
it's the entire length of the backpack. It goes from the top all the way to the bottom, uh, like four feet deep or something like that. It'll fit your laptop. So, and, and that's where I put mine because nobody's going to look to the back of the bag and underneath the straps for a zipper that they can't see, except for on the side, they can sort of see it next to the headphone thing. On this side, it's just hidden, kind of. Um, nobody, nobody's ever going to see that. Uh, I suppose if you wanted to, you'd more likely probably use the, the, the side with the, the locking mechanism built into the zipper, but I'm going to be perfectly honest, does not matter one bit at all. This is just false security because you can just shove something in, like a paper clip in there and then pull and it can just strip out and pop all the, the beads on the zipper. So a little small, tiny travel lock is not going to have a kind of shit. So what you need to do is you need to have it in a hidden compartment instead, which is the hardest part to steal from. Um, we also have a little tassel here. Um, this is where I hooked on a uh, little badge thing, so I can just pull it on elastic and use it when I need to. I've also put the keys here, you know. And here is my one-piece carabiner, and it hooks on. It's not the biggest thing, so you're definitely going to have to hook it with a keychain hook or wiggle it the right angle to get it around and then if you do it like that and then you can see it like facing on your back so you can to see what you're what you're sporting. But yeah. And that's it for the Tiger New backpack for the tech person on a budget. It's cheap backpack and good. It's not premium material, it's not a premium backpack, it's not, you know, the bee's knees of amazing things, but, you know, it's got little things like this, where you, instead of pulling on straps, you're pulling on loops, just a little bit better comfort, it's just some hidden pockets, they try to make the airflow and make it better for you. Um, there's no reason somebody wouldn't like this unless they're picky. Like, this would be perfect for any college student or high schooler that needs a spot for their backpack, or I need a spot for their tablet and laptop and stuff for school or for going to conventions or cons, whatever you want to call them. Um, you know, when I go to conventions, though, I, I never really take anything big. I take something small. So I know right where it is at all times. If I have to put it down, I can put it somewhere nice and neat. And hit it in a corner away so people don't even see it, or I can just wear it and strap it up super tight, it's a compression bag of any sorts. And that's it for the Tiger Name.